React doesn't use classes anymore. So why should you learn about object-oriented programming? Is OOP dead? Or it is the secret sauce behind writing better code even today? Let's break it down. Real quick, real fun, and real details. Hey, this is Tapas. Welcome to Tapas Script, a YouTube channel where you learn programming fundamentally and realistically. Yes, modern React is mostly functional with hooks, pure functions, and clean separation of concerns. But that doesn't mean OOP, object-oriented programming, is irrelevant. In fact, it's still the backbone of how most software systems are designed and maintained. Remember, OOP, object-oriented programming, is a mindset, not just a syntax. It is about modeling the real-world entities using objects, grouping behavior and the data, and keeping its privacy, which is known as encapsulation, hiding the complexities from the end user, which can be established using abstraction, creating reusable templates or the blueprints using inheritance, and writing predictable and extendable code using polymorphism. That's all come together, the philosophies, the principles, to construct something called object-oriented programming. Even if you're building with React or using functions like a boss, Still understanding OOP gives you the superpower, especially when you build APIs, microservices, business logic layers. Work with TypeScript. Yes, TypeScript is OOP friendly. Use frameworks like NestJS for creating APIs, Angular, Django, Laravel, or you are someone aiming to architect larger solutions. Think about the design patterns like solid principles, or you are someone who would be writing SDKs, libraries, or the utilities that will be used by many others. You have to know the core coding principles, and that is where OOP may play a bigger role. It's not just about writing your components and the UI code with React. That's today. But if you have to grow as a software developer, software engineer, understand what is given by AI to you and re-architect the way that it can be maintainable for the longer run, you have to learn coding principles. And that is where principles of object-oriented programming comes really, really handy. After building software for a couple of decades and working with the larger code bases, I can guarantee you that it is never a war between functional programming and the object-oriented programming paradigm. They work best when you blend them than trying to separate them. Functional programming is great for data transformation, for stateless UI, for reusability. On the other hand, object-oriented programming is great and excellent for modeling complex systems, maintaining state, structuring logic-heavy applications. So it is all driven by the use cases and need what you are going to use when. If you ever got confused about the functional programming and the object-oriented programming paradigm, think it like Lego boxes, right? Functional programming is nothing but those small individual bricks that you use in your Lego. Think about them like your pure functions. That's what it is in the functional programming, those bricks, those small bricks in your Lego. But when it comes to OOP, think it about like pre-built logo modules. That is nothing but an object. Now, if you want to build a castle using the logo blocks, you would still need the reusable logo modules, also those smaller bricks, so that you can build a robust, reusable, maintainable castle. Isn't it? The real truth about object-oriented programming is you won't always need OOP, but you will always be glad that you have learned it once in your life. It's like, you know, understanding the basic foundation before you start building a big building. Even the best JavaScript developers or the software engineers who have used JavaScript for building projects and products out there who write functional code still think of objects when architecting a bigger solution. That's the truth. That's the truth for people who have been working since years. So as a beginner or as a person who is just a few years in the industry, don't try to negate the value of certain programming paradigm thinking that, hey, I'm not using it in React. Will it be ever useful in my life? Learn it. Who knows, it may be very useful in your life as you grow. So if you haven't learned OOP yet, start today. If you have learned it but never used it, try to revisit it through real world examples. And if you're really serious about it along with JavaScript, watch out the videos that are given explaining the object-oriented programming principles and a lot of coding and the projects along with it. Please drop a comment. Do you still use OOP? I would like to know. Smash the like button to let me know that this video was helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe because if you do, you get Dave wisdom like this from me. I hope that it will be helpful somewhere, somewhere in your career. All right, then we'll be back again with a new video. Stay tuned, be with TapaScript and keep learning.